What's up everybody? Welcome back to On the Creek Outdoors. We are uh, kind of picking up where we left off. Um, last you seen us, we were out coyote hunting. Uh, the caller died and the decoy died. And it was just kind of kind of not a good night. So we packed up, got out of there, got some new batteries. Um, we're ready to go for tonight. We we're headed over to a new beer mission piece over in Custer local town to us um, see what we can put together the homeowner there has said that she here's the coyotes out there across the road from her so hopefully we can pull them up out of the, the field across from her and get on them so we uh, we had a nice west wind the coyote should be on the east side of the field we're gonna set up on the west side of the field call her right in the middle of the field and uh, kind of go from there see how she plays out it's a little foggy so it might be difficult conditions tonight for filming it might be difficult for uh, for even getting a shot off we shall see so I'll touch back with you guys once we uh, once we get out there and get set up hey guys uh, we're back just got set up out there a little bit ago uh, we sat for about an hour and a half almost two hours um did some calling in the first little bit we had uh, a couple of coyotes respond way off in the distance and i could hear some geese down there honking away so i'm assuming the coyotes were down there playing with the geese um so we we continued to call for a little while longer ended up having a uh, bobcat get within 50 yards of us scared of scared me pretty good wasn't expecting him to be there and I don't think he expected me to be there judging by his reaction he uh, he just gave me a wicked hiss and off he went just as fast as he could go and never looked back bobcat season ended back in January as far as hunting goes we don't get another season on bobcats until November, so um, obviously he got the pass. It was just nice seating. So I'm just got done packing all my stuff back away in my bag. Back seat of my truck is a mess. I've got just hot and stuff galore back there. I had to get my bag packed back up that we were good to go for tomorrow morning if we decide to go out. Not a bad night to be in the woods after work. I mean, after all, I just got out of work and went straight hunting. So, definitely not complaining. Um, maybe tomorrow morning we'll get out here and give her a try again, or we'll go off to paradise and try that. I think in the end of the week we're going to try and hit up a guy who works with the property and see if we can get something out there. He's been seeing them and hearing them pretty regularly. And uh, be trying for some steelhead here later this week too. Well, hopefully we can bring you guys some content on the steelies. Maybe bring you guys a coyote. Put him on the tailgate, that'd be nice. Yeah, tell them guys I'm gonna shut her down here and get home and get to bed. It's uh, it's getting pretty late. Got an early morning trap check tomorrow and maybe even coyote hunting before work. So uh, appreciate all you, all you guys watching. Appreciate all the reactions, the comments, uh, subs, everything. I just wanted to give you guys a quick, uh, quick look, see at what we were dealing with out there. It was so foggy we could hardly see 70 yards. Um, probably why the bobcat snuck up on us so quick. And uh, I'd have filmed more, but it is extremely hard filming from my phone. 
it was just one guy and trying to shoot and run the light and collar and everything it's it's difficult so bear with me guys as we learn and grow and do better we will only get better things to bring you guys the best better content and the best we can provide Yeah, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys the, how bad the fog was and how little visibility we really had.